Hello and welcome back to Let's Play James Bond 007 Everything or Nothing with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. In the last episode, the Machinery of Evil, we destroyed said Machinery of Evil um, along with Yayakov. Crushed him with a giant ball thing made of metal. I don't know. He died. Um, but the problem still remains nanobots. And now they've gone into the wrong hands. Oh, it's time to meet a reoccurring foe uh, in Bond's history, and especially in this game. Um, and we're going to do it in one of the best missions of this game, Pontchartrain Bridge. Oh, it's going to be a quick one, I'm sure, but it's so good. So, so good. Let's get started. If that truck is allowed to enter the city, there's no telling how many innocent people will die. You're our only hope, James. Okay, shut up, Em. First things first, go left. Go left down here. We need to build up some speed. Uh, go across this little pond bit and then hopefully jump over the fence for our first bond moment of this level. And second of all, shoot this shack. No, 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 wrong button. There we go. Shoot that shack um, full of all the guards for your second bond moment. Oh, they are close together, but let's just get those out of the way. So jump over the fence, shoot the little shack, two bond moments. And now we can get on to the fun part of this mission, on the bridge. On Well, actually it's technically called the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway. Let's go through the toll booth. And uh, yeah, it's based on a real life causeway um, in Louisiana. In fact, it's the longest bridge over water in one continuous line. There you go, Guinness World Record. Now you know. So it's really cool that they chose this for a level. Um, I don't know, it's just a really fun mission because it has such a sense of speed on it. You need to go, guy. Sick of you. Shotgun you. See, so yeah, we've got shotgun, rockets, and flamethrowers. Take care of these guys a bit more. Okay, good. And um, yeah, we can go really fast. Look at this, really. Oh, we're going to go this way. Oh, the sound and everything is so good. Um, yeah, we're going to get a bond moment by crossing over to the other side of the bridge. So we've got some oncoming traffic. Uh oh, don't crash. Really don't crash. Really a bad idea if you crash. Um, takes a lot of damage off. A lot of health off, I should say. Um, and yeah, takes about half your health off if you crash into a car. And that pretty much means you can't complete the mission if you do that. So you have got to be careful. That's why you can't just spam X and go really fast. You have got to, oh, you have got to slow down because uh, otherwise you're going to lose all your health. Which is, it sucks, but sometimes you can just mess around anyway. Hurry, 007. You mustn't let Jaws succeed. Oh, come on. Get out of my bloody way. Jaws is still going his tanker. We need to speed up. Um, this is like... This has got a time limit, this mission. <laughs> Reaching the other end of the bridge, we got we got to move. Get out of the way! God damn it! Okay, crap. We need to weave a bit more. Don't forget the special maneuvers you can perform on that bike, Double O Seven. That'll do the trick. Oh man, I love that stuff. The truck, 007. You must do everything in your power to stop Jaws. Look for a weakness in that tanker, 007. Perhaps that flamethrower will come in handy. Right, I'm going to pause here for a second. So, this is the really this is the, the, the tricky part of this mission is is having enough health up until this point to take on Jaws in his tanker. Uh, Q just said about finding a weakness. The weakness is the 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 tires. You have to flamethrower the tires of the tanker which means you have to get alongside it. Which is going to be tricky because he pins you to the wall and stuff. And there's these guys who throw these barrels at you. 
who are also really quite annoying. So what we're going to do is try and weave past them. In fact, we could try and rocket them, but it's a bit risky. And try and get alongside the tanker. Oh, here we are. Flamethrower, flamethrower. Go, 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 go. We've got to speed up a bit more. There we go. Right, that's took away a little bit. But now we've got to go on the other side. And look at all this crap happening. This is why it's so fun. Holy moly. Oh, crap. We're glitching a little bit. In fact, I may be stuck a little bit. Get out of my way. I'm stuck on the... No! I'm... There we go. I'm stuck on the, the van. Oh, right. Back to flamethrower. In fact, let's just do a little bit of a... Oh! God damn it. That's what happens if you smash into someone. Face on. Look how much health we have left. We're nearly reached the end of the bridge. Oh, it's too tense this mission. He switches lane. Oh. Hmm. Alright, let's just keep firing rockets at him. Not really much damage do we need to flamethrower him really. We need to get alongside him. Here we go, here we go, here we are, here we are. Here we are. Yes. Always nearly dead. Come on, Jaws. See, that's why that mission is so good. That is just pure, just pure insanity for five minutes in a straight line. Man, does that get your heart going. That's such a, such a great simple design for a level. Just a straight line, really fast, lots of crap in the way. Um, and yeah, such a sense of speed as well. But we did it. We destroyed Jaws. Well, maybe, well, definitely not destroyed Jaws. Um, and we did sort of destroy the tanker. However, I do worry what effect it would have having millions and millions of nanobots in the water which should probably then go to the water supply I have a feeling people are going to die no matter what because I reckon robots in in the water is not a good sign anyway anyway oh that mission's too short though it's just too fun too fun that's probably what makes it so fun is that it's just short and sweet let's have a quick look at some of the scores for this level um, four out of four bond moments believe it or not we did get all the bond moments it seemed a bit hectic but there you go Jumping over the fence, uh, shooting that shack, switching the bridge, the bridge side with the um, the roadworks, and sliding underneath. Don't know if I mentioned that, but that was a bond moment. Sliding underneath the tanker, um, the other one that Jaws pushes out of the way. Yeah, in the super slow mo bit. Anyway, let's have another look. Uh, weapon accuracy was 108%. Holy crap, that's a good score. Holy crap. Woohoo! And efficiency 22.8, so that's pretty bad. But duration, I can't imagine it can, yeah, um, it could be that long. 4 minutes 15, so not too bad, not too bad. Which leaves a final score after timesing it by 1.5 at 344,090. Um, I just had to look up the, uh, the scores because I forgot them. Um, the gold score for that was 300,000, which means... Boom! Gold! We've got another gold. Um, the platinum objective for this mission is to complete it in 3 minutes and 10 seconds or less. Pretty tricky. You have to be really good at weaving in and out of traffic to do that. Um, and catch up to Jaws really fast. So that's actually a really tricky um, platinum uh, objective to do there. So good luck with that. Pfft, blimey. Anyway, I think we've maybe unlocked some stuff by doing this. Grenades now carry an EMP pulse option, 007. Use this function to disable any electronic devices within the blast radius. Remember that this mode won't harm people, only machines. Ah, oh, the trusty EMP grenade. you got to have them. It's one of those things in video games. It's They're there all the time. So that's going to help us destroy machinery, computers, cameras, stuff like that. That's always good. And there are some more steals, production steals. We might look at those, although I haven't unlocked all of them, so we probably won't look at those at the end. And we'll see how it goes. I will now save and I'll cut forward. Okay, well with that done, you may have noticed that was quite a fast mission. Quite quite short and sweet and hectic. Um, which means we probably should watch this MI6 interlude in this episode um, and see what Q has to say.
Ah, Bond. Q has been analyzing the sample you recovered. The nanotechnology is the work of Dr. Nadanova, but upgraded. Upgraded? The nanobots were originally designed to fix nuclear reactors by infiltrating their radioactive circuit boards and repairing their control systems. But Yayakov added an acid cartridge and a swarming program. So, instead of repairing the circuits, they destroy them. In fact, they'll disintegrate anything made of metal. Like a dam? Or a bridge? Or a building? Or a city? So what keeps the nanobots from destroying each other? The platinum? Precisely! They're programmed to ignore what they're made of. Thank you, Q. Why do I think New Orleans was just a test? We must find out where Diavolo is going to strike next. Serena Saint-Germain mentioned a platinum deposit in Peru. I'll start with her. The geologist you rescued. Check in with Q first. A platinum idea. It's time to test Mr. Diavolo's metal. Time is short, 007. We've only had time to upgrade your grenades. More change, Q? We've added an EMP option that will disable electronic equipment near the blast. A stunning development. Oh, grow up. Alrighty then, well there's that cutscene over and done with. Bit of a weird one. Lots of technical jargon about nanobots and how they can eat through metal and how they ignore platinum because they're made of platinum and uh, that probably leads to their weakness being platinum so we should probably use that to our advantage something about platinum mines Serena Saint Germain who knows I reckon next episode we we'll have to go try and find Diavolo see what he's up to a little bit more so we'll do that in a simple exchange until then thank you very much for watching and goodbye